My name is Adam Don Moyer, and uh, I am doing a vlog, um, which I'm told means video blog. And um, I wanted to start out by saying uh, one of my favorite quotes by John Wanamaker, and he is uh, credited as being the first guy to run a half-page newspaper ad. He did it in the uh, 1870s. He was a retailer. He's known for a lot of other cool things, um, but that that is relevant to this quote. And uh, John Wanamaker said, Half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is, I don't know which half. If you know how John feels, then this vlog is for you. Um, if you've got buckets and buckets of money and you don't mind wasting it, well, uh, you don't need to watch this, you aren't going to benefit in any way. But if you know how John feels, keep watching. So, so the question becomes, do we do radio? Actually, we can't really afford the rights to that song, so I will stop it there. Direct mail. It's a lot of mail. TV. That's right, Emmett. TV. All right, wait. I'm not in my car, so I'm going to make it look like I'm driving by a billboard. Whoa, no, wait. That's me driving into it. Right off my computer there. Newspaper. Nay, hey, it isn't. Uh, there are still opportunities, things you can do with print. Um, you know, a lot of people throw their junk mail away uh, pretty fast. Our BS filters are high, uh, consumers get tired of mail. But that doesn't mean direct mail can't work. It's awfully targeted, right? Um, so there are advantages and disadvantages. TV, uh, they can hear about the product and see it, uh, which is kind of cool. Although, you know, we've got digital video recorders that will allow us to fast forward through the commercials. Uh, radio, people will talk about iPods and satellite and uh, the fact that maybe... Uh, Younger listeners aren't paying as close attention. Um, those reports are a little premature, uh, but there's some truth to it. Um, uh, but of course, radio is cheap, cheap production, right? TV is expensive, radio is cheap. It's intrusive. And what I mean by intrusive is uh, passive media is, uh, well, if I'd written down this blog and you were reading it on the web page, uh, but intrusive media means. Um, you hear it. So if you're driving in your car, listening to the, uh, the radio, it's a little more difficult to tune out. So, um, advantages and disadvantages to everything. Many experts will tell you, you want to do a media mix. Since all media has advantages and disadvantages, spend a little bit on radio. Spend a little bit on TV. Spend a little bit on direct mail. And spend a little bit on print. And everybody will see all your ads in various places. And all those impressions will combine. And people will learn about your business because they can't miss you. The problem is, they will miss you. Bum, bum, bum. So when you mix up your media, you're watering down your budget. And it's less likely to work. We assume that people see our billboard or our print ad or hear our radio ad or see our TV ad or get our piece of junk mail, and they're going to connect the dots. We assume that, right, Emmett? Yes. Yeah, but it doesn't work. What? No, doesn't, doesn't. 
And um, so I'm going, going to give you somebody else's advice. And the cool thing about this is he is smarter than those advertising experts. He's also dead, so you don't have to pay him a commission. To paraphrase him, Mark Twain said that a whole idea about don't put your eggs all in one basket, media mix. No, forget that. Put your eggs all in one basket, but guard that basket with your life! <laughs> It's funny because it's true. <laughs> <sighs> Finally, a soak in the tub. Maybe I'll call this vlog entry A Soak with John Wanamaker and Mark Twain. Maybe not. Anyway, I'm completely dressed. But I'm doing my vlog entry from home, so I needed to find a place where I could get away from the chaos. <laughs> Um, and, and I recommend you do the same. I mean, my normal place in the bathroom may not be the tub, but I do have standards and things I will not videotape with my cell phone or any other device. Uh, but find your happy place and do some soul searching. Because the best advice I can give you as somebody who negotiates media is um, find your message. You know, find it. And you may think you've already found it, but I need you to do some serious soul searching if it's not working because there's there's a chance that um, you're talking about what you want people to care about but not what actually resonates with people. There's a reason people want to do business with you or you wouldn't be in business. So what is that reason? What can you tell people that will really scratch an itch that they have? Okay? Um, and um, once you find that message well, then, it's easy to communicate it. If you're a good writer, and you can clearly communicate what you're offering people, your ads will work as long as they have enough repetition. Which brings me back to Mark's idea that, you know, put your eggs all in one basket and guard that basket. Okay? Once you pick your media, whatever it is, um, you know, look at the strengths and weaknesses and obviously consider that when you pick your media based on what you're trying to promote. Maybe you do need to target people more through direct mail. Maybe you just want a huge net and reach as many people as you can. So you're looking at broadcast media. You know, um, uh, you don't want to just reach the right pe person, but you also want to reach their influencers. There, there may be different reasons to pick media. They all have their strengths and their weaknesses. Maybe you can get your point across in eight words and billboards make sense. Whatever, you know. Uh, billboards are seen by a ton of people if you pick the right billboard. Uh, um, whatever your reason for picking the media, it, it, it shouldn't, you know, once you have your message, um, uh, just drive that message through. Because you... Do not want to reach too many people infrequently, right? You want to reach a captive audience again and again and again and again and again. So you become unforgettable.